So uh, what is main memory? Well, main memory is kind of a storage space for our program. Uh, we need to save the variables uh, inside of some storage areas or cells of memory. The, these cells are called bytes. And uh, when we're saving primitive variables, uh, we, are, we know what size they're going to be. For example, uh, integer variable is going to take up like four, four bytes of memory. Uh, some other variable is going to take two or three or four or eight bytes of memory. But when we're storing strings, we're not certain how much memory that will take. So when we are storing strings, they are not stored in the same space as the primitive data types. They are stored in the heap, actually. So as you can see in this slide, uh, when we're uh, saving integer variable, it takes up some space and the value is stored there. Same goes for double and float or other data types. But when we're storing a string, it actually just stores the uh, memory location to the that points to the first cell of the where the string is actually stored. So uh, the string is actually stored in heap, which is uh, part of the program. Which um, sorry, uh, let me just get my thoughts together. Uh, the string is stored in the heap, uh, which is uh, a dynamic uh, allocation memory space because the string is size is not known when the program starts because it can be very of variable size. Okay. Uh, when we're declaring a string, let me just open up my IntelliJ and I had some program here previously. Okay. So when we're declaring a string, we need to specify the string data type and then just give it some name as any other variable. And we can declare a string in two other two different ways. We can just say, we can just uh, give it a string literal like this, you know, or we can create a string using the new keyword. Let's say name two equals new string. And then we can pass uh, the string that we want to save here, like my last name, for example. Uh, the only difference between these two things, uh, it does not concern us too much, uh, but the difference is that this way, if we create another string, for example, if we create name three and we say Milan as well, then uh, Java will actually figure out that we already had Milan in, this, in the heap area. So it will just point this to the same memory location where, where name is pointing. So it'll just take up less space because it already had Milan there. But if I create name four uh, like this, well, then uh, it, will, it will not, uh, uh, it will not do this, that optimization that I just mentioned. It will just allocate some new space. And regardless of these things being literally the same, it'll just allocate new memory space and uh, it will point to that 